So let's try this again. Uh, Your Majesty, Atli. The reports I have read recommended you. So I'm going to, to I'm going to choose always almost the same entrance uh, exactly as you see. Quite a stroke of luck for you. So you're more common than Popper. Uh, so no nothing. I step your title in sight of Crown's glory. Sure. Yes. Yes. So your eyes, Lord Atli, may you bring glory to the crown and your house, etc. Go explore my city and reveal in your newfound blue blood. Oh yes, one last thing. You'll need a signet ring with your family crest. There is a coal eater over on Market Street who many of your ilk visit for such trifles. I have a sink or two for him to eat. Come from a place just as dark and hostile to life as a coal mine. Did you say something, dwarf? No, your mag magnificence, just a cough from all the coal dust. Of course. Dismissed. Alright, what is this? Meeting hall and guard room, okay. Who are you, court here? Don't get so close. Have you, have you found everything in order, Lord Espen? Not quite. Noble woman, mage, palace guard. Is it broken? Yeah. Ah, this wicked contraption simply doesn't want to work. His Majesty will hang up us up by our ears if we can't get it running. Okay. Do not fret, my friend. I took several classes from a famous artificer at the academy. I could fix a machine like this in the dark with nothing but a spool of twine and a hammer. You bluffer on and on about the damned academy, but can you actually do anything besides wreck, I mean? Or is every wizard just a failed nobleman strutting around with his nose in the air? Now go. Greetings, sir. Although we naturally have the situation well in hand, I wonder if you might wish to share your thoughts on the most efficient way to get our metal friend back on the, his feet and performing his duties again. Mm. Uh, I don't like. I don't like even looking at those cold metal eyes. If you ask me, <coughs> we would all better off if you left it broken. Thanks for nothing. Now kindly let us return to our work. All right. Yes. Yes. Was those nobles okay? Main quests. I never imagined I would end up as a noble myself someday. I must go and find the royal smithy on the market street of Isilbride. Had to forge me a signet ring. Okay. Well, I guess let's go. I am Finger, a real emissary to the crown of Isilmerald. Well, Matt, do, do you and I have some business? I hope we do, my lord. I merely wish to extend the blessings and good wishes of the East. Take this letter, please. It is an introduction to the court of the Garden of the Lights. If ever your travels take you there, be assured the potentials, the potentates, shahs, and good bur burgers of the Rilo will assured uh, grant a warm welcome to any noble of the court of King Velianric. All right, I will be glad. Uh, you know, I always heard them referred to as the gardens of disease. Is it wrong? 
Yours is a sharp wit indeed, my lord. Sharp as mashed turnips, I should say. Good day to you. Eh. So I have a letter, okay. Alright, we are outside of the palace. Oh, let's travel to the market district and get our ring. The record keeper told me I could reclaim the title of Espen for myself only if I produced a certificate that validates my claim. I know that. Again, uh, Imagines, alright, the record keeper. Swilling portal. On the way out of the palace, I met a riddle diplomat named Fengrir, who was eager to meet me right away. I'm not sure what he, her take was all in this, but she invited me to a garden of delights on the eastern border of Isolmerald. Seems to be a quite long way from here. At any cost, I first need to find Tolbarot on the market street, so he can start forging my silent ring. Anything else can come after that. Okay. Yes, yes. What is this location actually? Don't see it. Hmm, nope, I don't see it. It's night time, so that Galvin is not. General store. I wasn't there yet, so okay. Let's go inside. Hello. Rent the room. Since I am a noble, let's take a king size room. All right. I'm listening. the guy show me that must be you right what was your name again Tolbert you're Gavin you're not Tolbert ah you're the, oh, wait, the dwarf okay Again, Altly. 
So what would it be then? I hear you're a smith to see about a cider drink. Hi, what will you be needing then? I am a sign of House Espen, so I'll be needing a ring with my family crest. I know it, but business is slow. Come see me soon, I'll have it for you. Oh, and if you haven't tried it, I recommend a drink at the Crooked Huggler while you wait. Uh, Tolbar told me if it will take a few hours for him to finish my ring, I should probably get some rest somewhere for the time being. He recommends the Crooked Huggler on the Market Street as a suitable lodging for the time being. Okay. Alright, let's run to the tavern. Alright, let's rest again. Rent a room, yes. So fifteen. So is it night time or daytime? I guess. Let's I'm check outside. Okay, it's still daytime. Let's go back. Smith. What? Oh, again? So, uh, what about my ring? Ah, here you are. You come back now. All right. Let's check it. Signet of House Espen. Bargain and position plus ten percent. Okay. Where is it? Six second drink, okay. Good. So I finally received my silent dream from Tolbert. It's a proof of my lineage. Where should I go to now? Good question. I don't know. Oh, maybe I should try to visit the hidden cabin again. Maybe there are some locations out there. I'm not sure. Maybe I should check the other buildings in the city of Isolbright, like this embassy in the castle district. Anyways, I'm going to do this next time. Thank you for watching. If you have been watching, and until next time.